Hello there, people who clicked on this. So this will actually be my first video from the new place. No idea how it's going to sound, how it's going to look, anything. It's all going to probably, I guess, come up when I'm editing it. I will figure it out then. I know the lighting here isn't great, so that's something that needs to be worked on. But I think I sort of have like a little thing that's working. Like I am pretty good at coming up with solutions for stuff like this. When I was younger, I had like a little camcorder. You used to have to stack like Xbox games and books and stuff to have it level with the TV so that you could zoom in and kind of, you know, it obviously wasn't perfect, but I've, let's just say I've, I've dabbled in this sort of situation before. So I had a very interesting comment that I would love. I've, I'm, this is going to be a very interesting video, in my opinion, anyway. So what we're going to be doing is doing a fantasy draft, but the teams are going to be in alphabetical order so that it's easy to tell how teams did at certain picks, you know, because obviously... Go in alphabetical order, we can find out the number and see which pick is essentially the ultimate draft pick, at least this time around. Would they win every time? Probably not. In fact, I think there's a great chance they wouldn't. But we're going to find out who wins the first time. And yeah, let's let's go ahead and do it here. So I'm going to randomize my team here. I, it doesn't really matter which team I get because I'm not going to do anything anyway. But we get Detroit, so we are going to be near the upper half of the draft. It's going to be an auto-draft anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm actually going to leave the edit line stuff on because I want to have as little interaction as possible with the team. I want to just draft and then let it go through and see what happens. So I'm going to leave the coach to edit the lines. You'll finally have a job to do. I don't want this on though. Player morale, I will leave it on, but turn off the meetings as per usual. Injuries, we will have those off, I suppose. Well, you know what? Because it's... Oh, but that's going to be annoying. Yeah, we'll just leave them off for now. Never mind. I kind of like the idea of having injuries on, but it just... It gets a little ridiculous sometimes, so yeah, I'm not super down for that. But anyway, uh, I guess we could leave this stuff on. Morale meetings I definitely want off. Uh, stars only for this stuff. Like, that's never happened, nor will it ever happen. Who's going to drop a star on waivers in this game? It's just simply not going to happen. If it, has it happened to you? Let me know. I'd love to know. All right, let the games begin. Anaheim's going to have the first pick. This might take a little bit, so I'm probably not going to include this part in the video. I also just realized my music isn't playing, which is very disrespectful. There we go. A lot better. And Detroit will get the very last slot on the front. I was about to call it a row, but I guess that's a column. All right, there you have it. I also just realized I'm going to take a screenshot of this, and that completely def defeats the whole purpose of the video, because then it doesn't even matter what the alphabetical order is but we're gonna run with it anyway because i like the concept and also i have like no video ideas so if you guys have anything down there it's you know free of charge to leave a comment so if you have anything you want to throw at me go ahead all right so if there was a fantasy draft and instead of just doing a thing they went alphabetical who would have the best team or at least who does this game think will have the best team let's find out start draft and obviously we are going to do an auto draft mcdavid's obviously going to go first overall i'm kind of curious who goes second is it matthews or oh matthews doesn't go until 10 okay never mind who's number two then dry sidle that makes sense mckinnon i find that funny these guys are on the same team right here and they go one two anyway sim entire draft let's do it and yeah let's get in there and see what team we got at number 11 and let's, I guess, from there, go ahead and start the simulation. So obviously this setup's going to need some work. Um, I don't even know if you guys will be able to tell. Like, I have this light here that I've used before when doing, like, the card opening videos. It's very bright. If I pointed it at me, I would be blind right now. So I'm pointing at the green screen to sort of light that up, which hopefully helps with the, you know, thing to get rid of it. But we'll, we'll find out sooner or later. Draft is done. And there's our team. We got Jack Eichel, Besser, Rissalainen. And by the way, where this video is going to come out after. I already know it. He's going to get moved. He hasn't been moved at all. Hasn't even been talked about. It's pretty much been dropped. Where's he going to end up? Um, he, he might have already been traded by the time this video comes out. But if not, where, what are you guys thinking? Preseason has been simulated. I'm not going to touch these lines at all. I'm not even going to try. I just turned it off. Wait. No, I want to... No. I want the coach to edit the lines because I don't want to have to do anything. Okay, well... I doubt they're going to make any changes anyway. Really? Well, I'm, I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Oh, we got Flower? How'd I miss that? No way. Apparently, he's pretty pumped to play in Chicago, which is sick. So, yeah, good for you, Flower. I guess I didn't really go over the lines. I just sort of went to the screen and 
breeze past it. But anyway, we got Bolsters on the first line with Eichel and Besser, which is an interesting one. Then we got Pujarvi playing with Morgan Frost and Trocek. Palat, Pajot, and Luff. I, what a weird way to structure this team. Are we sure? I guess we're sure. Okay, Giordano, Bufflin, Petrie, Ristolainen. So our top four is ridiculous. That has got to be one of the best top fours I've ever seen. And then we've got Carlson and Forbert at a dash three. Not good. And net, we've got Flower and Cassie DeSmith. Yes, it's Casey. I'm well aware. Thank you. Well, let's sim to the end of the season because normally we'll have a look and see who won the season at least. You know, that's got to count for something. So, and I guess we also have a look at all the stats. I normally do the playoff stuff after the awards. And wow, Vancouver has already fired their coach, Raphael Fisse. Fisset. Don't know. Could be either or. It's a mystery. Oh, wow. Columbus fired their coach now. Jalen Davies, see you later, bud. Coaches are dropping like flies to start this one, but I think we've sort of cooled down a little bit. Wow, great. It's going to be a good year for rookies. Too bad none of them are ever going to get to see the NHL because this league is folding. That's right, folks. You heard it here first. After one season of the NHL, it's folding. No trade offers in a while. Hmm, kind of like I want it that way. You know, our team doesn't really look like they're on pace to make the playoffs, but really it's a whole new thing after the trade deadline. You never know. Your team's either going to shoot to the sky or just plummet to earth. It really is honestly almost random, I want to say. Let's go into the trade deadline just to see whom is available. We got Taylor Hall, Brent Burns, Varlamov, Nugent Hopkins, Schultz, Zuccarello, Getzlav, Nyquist, Ulmark, and T. Weiler, Mears. All right. Interesting. All right, we've definitely made a little bit of a comeback here, so playoffs are not out of the question. Oh, actually, we are still eight points behind, but our record doesn't seem that bad. We must have a really good division. I mean, is our record great? No, not by any means, but it's really not that bad. Yeah, we might get a wild card spot, I think I saw there. It's up for grabs, it appears anyway. Get some wins here. Come on. Oh, no way. A five-game win streak to end it. You won't. You won't. That is unbelievable. That's hockey. Let's find out. LA. The LA Kings get 111 points. So which pick did they have? Number 14. So near the middle. And then next, Carolina, which was number 6. Buffalo with number 4. Tampa, which was near the bottom. Yeah, they were 26th. Calgary. All right. So strangely, it seems like there's not a lot of the middle teams here. It's like, well, I guess... I, never mind. It's sort of just mixed in, so I don't know. Maybe there isn't an ultimate pick, but I mean, if you want to just look at who won, then it's LA at number 14. So yeah, they're right near the middle. Jack Eichel with 86 points, point a game player, can't complain. Besser with 73, Vinny Trocek 56, we got Bufflin with 50, Palat 48. Let's just scroll all the way to the bottom here. We'll check out the goalies pretty quick. We got a lot of dashes there. Not a big fan of that, fellows, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Flurry 29, 24, and 7, 904, and three shutouts. Okay, DeSmith 14, 7, and 1, three shutouts, and a 923, 241. DeSmith played really well, but let's check out LA and then we'll check out the entire league. So let's see what they had here. Kemper with 43 wins and a 910 save percentage. Uh, Dreger did pretty good there as well. Let's go to all skaters. So they had Steven Stamkos who put up 118. Panarin with 98, Strom 68, Spezza with 64. Holy crap, Dumba 64. They have a very good team here. Lots of contributors for sure. Holy crap. All right, well, let's check out the entire league then, I suppose. Entire league. And yeah, Stamkos got the Art Ross. That's not a surprise. Sagan 105, Wheeler 102, Marchand 99, Matthews 98. Uh, yeah, so there you go. There's the... Front page right there, but definitely one great team and one great season. LA Kings. They, right there, actually. There it is. I didn't realize that. But, yeah, Darcy Kemper, 40 tree wins, had the most. Markstrom, 42, is right there. Bobrovsky's up there as well with 40. And, yeah, this is just the uh, goalie stats here. 899 for you see what I see, Soros. Interesting. So I got 35 dubs though. Well, let's see if the Kings really have the ultimate pick here. If they win the cup as well, then I guess you can't argue it. But if 
some other team wins the cup, then it's going to be interesting. So let's find out here. AHL, come on. Come on. It's not what we're here for. Boom. Don't get me wrong. I love AHL games, though. Going to watch the Marlies play is sick. But anyway, we made it past round one, which is very unusual for us. Are we going to make it past round two? Well, we still did something the Leafs could never do. I'm from Toronto. I want them to do well. Zip it. All right? I'm allowed to make fun of them. Chicago. Pick number seven. Chicago with the Stanley Cup. There you have it. So, I guess technically they're the ultimate because they got the ultimate prize. But, LA Kings did very well in the season. Yeah, I, I guess you can't really argue it though. The Stanley Cup is the Stanley Cup. So, let's have a quick look at Chicago's roster here just to see who they ended up having. So, they had Patrick Kane. They took him back. Tavares. They had Patches. They had Trevor Zegra. I still don't know if it's Zegras or Zegra. I've Heard it both ways many times, so anyway. They had DeBrusque. Let's just scroll to the bottom here. Kind of go through their roster quick. Scandella. All right. Interesting. They had two Leafs defensemen here, Santine and Dermot. I think Dermot's still with the team. Could be wrong. Anyway. Goalies. Boom. We've got Katahat. 27, 25, and 8. And then 6, 5, and 1. How'd they even make it in? Where did they finish? Okay, this is going to be interesting. They must have just squeaked in. There's no way... That they had a good run with that. And did we see them? I don't think we did. They have to be down here somewhere. Come on. Did they wildcard it? Oh, yeah, they did. They were 19th or 18th, sorry, in the league. 88 points, 39 wins. And they went on to win the cup. True underdog story. Love to see it. So anyways, we pretty much know all this. And Chicago and the Sabres ended up making it to the finals. So individual, we got Steven with the Art Ross and the Hart, the... Norris goes to Carlson Sagan with the Lady Bing. Calder goes to Lafreniere. Con Smythe to John Tavares. Bobrovsky with the Vesna. Leonard gets the Jennings. Giordano with the Masterton. Jack Adams goes to Druen Delorier. That's quite the last name. O'Reilly gets the Selkie. Stamkos gets the Lindsay. And the Rocket Richard goes to Ostino Marino Matthews. If anybody's wondering where Ostino Marino came from, my name's Austin. Part of a... I guess it was like way back in elementary school. But anyway, yeah, it's uh, a part a part of an old nickname, shall we say. Does the nickname make any sense? Nope, but that doesn't matter. Well, folks, here's the playoff tree. There you have it. And boom, that's it. So yeah, I guess LA won the President's Trophy, but Chicago won the Stanley Cup. So I guess Chicago at pick number seven is really the ultimate pick. We could do this again. And, you know, see if it's a, a repeat. I really doubt it would be. But, yeah, that's who won the draft battle this time. So, pick number seven. If I ever... Well, I guess it is lucky number seven. Come on. You can't make that up. Anyways, comments down below. Please give me video ideas. I need them. And um, thanks for watching. Hope you're all having a tremendous day, week, whatever. Just hope you're doing good. <laughs> all right. Bye.